Let's make a deep fake video. This is a test to see how deep fake video works. You don't need a super computer for this. So go ahead and follow the description and there are certain links in provided. So go ahead and click as I say. So the first link is this one where you're going to click and open up this collab link and it will open up this page this demo for the first order motion model for image animation and this will come up here and from there make sure you're signed in with your own Google account over here. So I would suggest create your own user account so that because Google asks for quite a bit of permissions and access to your files so better to create a new account when you're using this file. So the second step provided in the link it has this py pip install pyml link so go ahead and copy that link and come to the first step. So press enter and this should be the first line. So it should install this pyml file. For some reason it's missing in the main original demo file provided by the author. So just go ahead and once you have copied it, press the play button and it will pop up this warning. Just click on run anyway and it will take a few seconds and run and load all the GitHub files and the pyml files. Let's give it a few seconds and it is loading in for us. Now, just look into this. It's using Google's uh, machine learning libraries. It's using the, all the heavy lifting is done over the Google Collab files and nothing is running on your own computer. So you, even a, a small computer, even, even not having much of power like mine, it can do the job very well. So once everything is done, it display button becomes solid, which makes you tell you that it's done, it's perfect. Go to the second step and again press play button. So it will uh, go into that first order model file, model file, and then the third step. Now this is something different. So go ahead and press the play button and it will give you this link. So go ahead and click on this link. So I, I have this account and I'm opening this account and it will ask you for some certain types of permissions that you have to give in order to access the files. So for some reason this one is not loading unless my internet speed is down. Let me close this back again and reopen. But for you, you shouldn't have any issues. Yep, definitely my internet is down. That's the last thing which I had thought about before making this video. So perfect. And it'll open up this sign in page. So I have this high five account signed in. So go ahead and open up and it'll ask you a bunch of permissions. Just go ahead and allow because you're not signing your will for it. So copy this security code over here. Come back to your main file and just paste over here and paste put enter. Once everything is done, it should allow and make sure and it'll give you permission to run this file. So this thing is perfect. Now, yeah, it looks like everything is done. It should show this. It should show this mounted at content G drive function down here, which means that this thing is run properly. Now come here. So click on this folder. Now this is the main folder that was provided by the author. So we'll see how it has its own. It's not mounted on anything. So it's, it, it's by itself. And this file name is very important. First order motion model. This exact spelling and exact the spaces, the number of the cap, whether it's caps lock or you know small caps or hyphen, everything is important. So make sure you have the right spelling for this. And you can see the author was kind enough to provide some images of faces and some videos as well. So we need two important files from here. One is this particular Vox CP key file and this Vox ADV file. So just copy these two files and open up your own Google Drive. The same Google Drive account. So you see this hand over here, that tells you that I'm in the same Google Drive. So the same file should be there, same account, and create this folder with the same name, first order motion model, exactly similar, and then it should be in your main drive. So go ahead and create this file. So these two are the you know, files that we copied from the mail from the from this guy over here. So copy these two files and we copied the Vox CPK file from here and the Vox CPK file from here. So just we copied and put it in this particular folder here. 
and take an image and a video of your own choice so i i choose to take up this video this image from the putin and this particular video from obama and just copy it here over here so as long as you have one image in one video you're fine and we're going to test and see how this works so come here on this next step it provides and it access the source image in the driving video just make sure you have that particular driving video and source image so in our case we have our source image as 02.png and our driving video which is 00.mp4 so just make sure we change the file name so instead of 02 we i mean 02.png is the same one with that we are using as well but the driving video is it's not 04 but it is 00 in our case now whatever file name whatever video that you choose just make sure you go ahead and change it over here and once you have done this just go ahead and press the play button and it will load the files for us you can see in the bottom over here and it's trying to load all the files you can see this thing is loading so it will take a few seconds and it will load all the models for us it will take all the images and you need to do this so and uh, the good thing is you don't need any kind of coding knowledge for this so you can see this output has come out so it has loaded the source image and the video image successfully now come back to the next step now this is where it looks for all the checkpoints so it, it's probably going through a detector where it is loading all the checkpoints that are available in the face so all the key points from the faces are detected and it, we are loading this right now once that is done we'll go and display this one so don't don't get uh, confused by what is going on here because this is already part of the demo but we will be replacing that with our own videos so let's see okay so this is done it looks like the play button is solid so we can go to the next step and press the play button over here now we, we will see that uh, Norm, I mean, in a few seconds, the video will change and it will show up the Putin and the Obama video that we created just now. So let's give it a few seconds. It's loading right now. And notice this 265 by 265 also we'll look at, we'll go back into this later when we try to create our own image so you can see now the output is ready and it is showing how the deep fake is mimicking the video the original video and the source image now which is being changed you can see how the face profile the eyes the texture the the orientation of the face the pose everything is mimicking the original video so that's done now the second the third step is this so this is another type of uh, output now here you are keeping the same profile the same uh, image profile or in this case it will change the source image profile to the driving video profile so you can see a small difference in this this is another type of output both of them can be used and if you want to download this just go ahead and right click if you're using chrome it will give you an option to download right over here and if not you can just go ahead and right click save video as if you're using firefox or any other browser and it will allow you to download the video and i think this should load out the second model should come up any moment now we will see how uh, this particular model will be different okay now you can see how the face is different now you have noticed the hair level now the this particular image will try to mimic the image and replace it with the driving video image so it will make the face look like the driving video very similar not not the same but very similar so you can see how the uh, hair was grown on putin 
because Obama had a little bit more hair over this. So you can see the hair hair profile has changed, the nose profile has changed a little bit, the face, the mouth, and the, even the eyes have changed a little bit based on the driving video. So that, that's how this particular model changes. And whichever works for your own purpose, you can always use that. And again, this is just more for a fun purpose. And go ahead and download the video. But now let's see how we can create our own model. So you need to create a video. You need to have a driving video and you need to have a source video, source image in order to play and make your own deep fake video. Now make sure the driving video that you're choosing, like in this case, we used this Obama's video. When we make sure that your video is square, it's not uh, rectangle, but it is square. See how the uh, Obama video is, it is square and uh, preferably the pro project needs the 265 by 265. It's either 265 or 256. I want to say 256. Yeah, the 256. It, it needs 256. The, so the pixel size of the image should be 256 by 256. But if you don't have 256, it, it, the model is changed, uh, designed to resize the image to that shape automatically. But more importantly, you need a video which is square. The aspect size ratio of the video is should be square. So most of the phones ha allow you to record a square video. But if you don't, uh, your phone does, don't, doesn't have, like my phone did not have the aspect ratio to record a square video. So what I did was I opened up Instagram and I uploaded the videos because Instagram allows uh, uploads the videos with a square shape. So when I uploaded my Instagram video, now this is where this is my Instagram account, and you can see the video is in a square format. So we're going to just uh, upload this video to our first model folder. So this is this is where all your uh, source images and source video files should be here. So I'm going to go into my uh, phone right now, and I will upload the video so that we can now test it in our system. Okay, so I've uploaded it and it will come up over here any moment. Now we can see, yes, the folder, the image has come up, insta.mp4. So you can see the video has come up. It's still processing, so it's not displaying. But this image, insta.mp4, is the image that we are trying to upload it to and test it out with our system. Okay. So this Instagram video is uploaded now. So we go back to the collab file and go to the step just below the mounting your Google Drive collapse drive where it says load driving video and source image. Go into that step and instead of the video that we had, so we had 00.mp4, instead of that, we're gonna copy what the file name is here. So go ahead and open this, rename and copy this whole file. Copy, come back to the collab file and replace this particular file here, file name. So instead of 00.mp4, we're going to paste the insta.mp4 and then rerun this. So now it will load our own video into the folder. Okay, so the video and the face has been loaded perfectly. Now let's go ahead and create the checkpoints. This will take another few seconds, done. And now let's load the model. Okay, we can see how this is working. So now it has loaded and you can see how the face is trying to mimic the driving video. Well, it is not good, not as good as the Obama video. The number one reason is because my camera was shaking when I recorded this. You can see the camera is not stable, the one which I recorded with, and hence it's not able to perfectly mimic the face points. That's the reason you can see some blurry over here. But if you have a stationary camera, it will give you a much better result.